Hypersonic speed and the future of warfare. Hypersonic speed means reaching the moon in 16 hours, circling the globe in 100 minutes, or making it to the next street before you blink. That's the kind of speed the next generation of American aircraft is aiming for. We're talking about stealth aircraft launching hypersonic missiles, ushering in an era of near-invisible warfare. While hypersonic technology is gaining attention today, its roots go back to the Cold War. During that tense period, the U.S. and the Soviet Union developed weapons powerful enough to destroy much of the planet. The constant threat of conflict drove innovation, especially in speed. Fast became the answer to everything. How do you build a reconnaissance aircraft that can safely spy on the enemy? Make it fast. What about a bomber that can avoid air defenses? Faster. A fighter jet that wins more dogfights. Even faster. This thinking quickly took us from subsonic aircraft to supersonic jets, and eventually to hypersonic machines that made the sound barrier seem slow. The State Route 71 Blackbird, a hypersonic icon. The Cold War sparked the birth of hypersonic aviation, and leading the pack was the American-built State Route 71 Blackbird. It remains the fastest manned air-breathing aircraft ever built. Designed in the 1960s for high-altitude surveillance, the State Route 71 could cruise at Mach 3.2 and fly above 80,000 feet, so high and fast that it outran every missile ever fired at it. Not a single one was shot down. The Soviet response included the MiG-25 Foxbat, capable of Mach 2.8, meant to intercept U.S. bombers. They also built the Tu-144, a supersonic passenger jet with limited military use. Despite these efforts, the Soviets never caught up. The State Route 71 reigned supreme until it was retired in 1999, partly because the Cold War had ended and such speed no longer seemed necessary. But in today's world, it is again the 21st century hypersonic race. Now the race is back on. Hypersonic speed is once again a priority. Global powers are competing to develop aircraft that can fly faster than ever before. For the U.S., staying ahead means massive investments and secretive projects working inside hangars across the country. Today's goal is a Mach 3. It's Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. Building an aircraft that fast isn't easy, but the U.S. has never backed down from a challenge. Several programs are underway, each chasing that goal. DARPA's Falcon Project Launched in 2003, DARPA's Falcon Project, force application and launch from continental United States, aimed to build hypersonic weapons and vehicles capable of striking anywhere in the world within one to two hours. Jointly run with the U.S. Air Force, Falcon had two parts, a small launch system and the hypersonic vehicle itself, such as the X-41 Common Aero Vehicle or the Hypersonic Cruise Vehicle. Key prototypes included the HDV-2 designed to reach Mach 20, and the HTV 3X Black Swift, a reusable jet targeting Mach 6. The HTV 2 flew in 2010 and 2011, but faced failures due to thermal and control problems. Black Swift, designed for runway takeoff, was canceled in 2008 after funding cuts. Though Falcon officially ended in 2011, its $170 million budget, and advanced designs laid the foundation for future projects like the State Route 72. Each HDV-2 launch cost about $50 million, but the tech breakthroughs in aerodynamics and heat shielding were invaluable. NASA's X-43 program. NASA's X-43A Pegasus, part of the HyperX program, tested scramjet propulsion, jet engines designed to work at hypersonic speeds. Developed in the late 1990s, it aimed to fly at speeds up to Mach 12. The 12-foot unmanned aircraft was dropped from a B-52 and boosted by a Pegasus rocket to testing altitudes. Powered by a hydrogen-fueled scramjet, the X-43A hit Mach 7.5 in March 2004 and later Mach 9.6 in November, still the fastest air-breathing flight ever recorded. Despite a failed test in 2001, the final two flights were a success. The program cost $230 million over nearly a decade and delivered critical data on high-speed flight. Hermes Quarter Horse One of the newer players is the Hermes Quarter Horse. Developed by Hermes, a startup based in the Atlantic region, this uncrewed hypersonic aircraft 
is designed to reach Mach 5.5, fly over 4,600 miles, and break the SR-71 speed record. It uses a turbine-based combined cycle engine, a major step forward in practical hypersonic propulsion. Quarter Horse Program The Quarter Horse hypersonic aircraft uses a turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC, engine. This combines a jet engine for subsonic and supersonic flight with a scramjet for hypersonic speeds. The first prototype, zero Malawian quachas, was ground tested in 2023. One Malawian quacha, powered by a GJ85 engine, completed ground testing in January 2025 and is set to fly at Edwards Air Force Base this year. Two Malawian quachas, equipped with a Pratt and Whitney F-100 and a precooler, is under construction and aims for Mach 2 flights by summer 2025. The final version, three Malawian quachas, is expected to go hypersonic in 2026. Hermes, the developer, secured a $60 million U.S. Air Force contract in 2021, $100 million in private funding in 2022, and a $23 million contract from the Defense Innovation Unit in 2023. Each prototype costs between $10 and $20 million. Quarter Horse will also support the development of the HIN airliner, a civilian hypersonic jet inspired by the Concorde, and the Dark Horse drone, a military hypersonic vehicle aimed at broad deployment. Project Mayhem Project Mayhem, officially known as the Hypersonic Multimission ISR and Strike Program, is a classified U.S. Air Force project developing an uncrewed hypersonic aircraft capable of Mach 10. It's designed for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike missions. Managed by the Air Force Research Laboratory, EFRL, it uses a multi-cycle propulsion system, jet engines for takeoff and up to Mach 3, then scramjets for hypersonic flight. The aircraft will carry modular payloads for various mission types. In December 2022, Lidos received a $334 million contract including a $24 million task order to define system requirements and complete conceptual designs by October 2028 at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. The project uses model-based engineering to simulate heat and stress at extreme speeds. First revealed in 2020, it's expected to see test flights in the late 2020s. Each aircraft could cost around $1 billion. State Route 72, son of Blackbird, the State Route 72, nicknamed Son of Blackbird, is being developed by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works with DARPA and the U.S. Air Force. It's the successor to the legendary State Route 71 Blackbird, aiming to reach speeds over Mach 6 for ISR and strike missions. It uses a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system with turbojets for takeoff and scramjets for hypersonic flight. The aircraft is designed for stealth and long-range operations over 5,000 miles, while avoiding advanced air defenses. First revealed in 2013, Lockheed announced progress on a demonstrator in 2018, possibly tied to the hypersonic test vehicle 3X from the canceled DARPA Falcon program. Aerojet Rocketdyne, contracted in 2016, is developing propulsion systems under DARPA's $145 million advanced full-range engine program. By 2018, Unit costs were estimated at $200 million, with total development projected over $1 billion. The timeline remains mostly classified, but initial flight tests may be underway or approaching. Projected for the early 2020s, but were later pushed to the late 2020s. Lockheed Martin aims for operational capability by the 2030s, with full deployment possibly in the 2040s. In 2023, Skunk Works confirmed ongoing ground tests with a scaled demonstrator, possibly flown in secret. The SR-72's history ties to Cold War-era high-speed platforms and the State Route 71. Its mission will be similar to To keep the United States ahead of rivals in a heated race, a hypersonic race that once again reminds the world of an insatiable need for speed. With the State Route 72 and other aircraft like it all around the world, in China, Russia, and so on, and hypersonic missiles also taking shape. Once all of these aircraft begin to enter service, they will redefine air battle and create a new future, one that can only be dominated by unconventional, blurry hypersonic battles. Conclusion Hypersonic battles, 
hypersonic aircraft versus hypersonic missiles, all guided by floating satellites in orbit, probably armed with laser weapons now under development. These are the types of scenarios air battles of the future can draw up, scenarios fit for a sci-fi movie, and yet somehow, they are reality, a not-too-distant reality. Too many of the hypersonic technologies currently being developed are slated for service in the 2030s and 2040s, which isn't forever away. A whole new world in less than two decades. Hypersonic technologies integration into jets, missiles, and drones will redefine engagement dynamics, prioritizing rapid decision-making and precision in high-stakes conflicts. They will compress the battle space, drastically reduce reaction windows, make the world smaller and quite simply, blow our minds. Whichever nation arrives at that mind-blowing destination first remains a fortune-teller secret, but whichever it is will likely be feared.